Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Path to Jarvis. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a small demo live to kind of just use my voice to talk to a chatbot to see if I can guide the AI to help me solve a corporate finance problem. So since I'm doing this live, it could go well, it could also go terribly wrong. So with that being said, let's get started. So I'm trying to solve a corporate finance homework. Uh, can you try to help me with this problem? Okay, so let's see what he says. Of course. I'd be happy to help you with your corporate finance homework problem. Please go ahead and provide me with the details of the question or the specific concept you're struggling with, and I'll assist you in understanding and solving the problem. Feel free to share the details and we can work on it together to find a solution. So I'm considering a project uh, that's uh, 10 grand uh, six months and 20 grand in one year. And the cost is 26 grand today. I'm trying to come up with the DCF project. So I actually get cut off there. Uh, let's see if the answer is okay. It's coming up with a solution and I think it's trying to summarize it for me. And let's see what he says. It seems like you're analyzing a project in corporate finance that involves cash flows of $10,000 in six months, $20,000 in one year, and an initial cost of $26,000 today. To evaluate the feasibility and profitability of this project, you can calculate the net present value NPV of the project. Here's how you can calculate the NPV of the project. One, determine the appropriate discount rate, e.g. cost of capital or required rate of return. Two, calculate the present value of the cash flows, present value PV of $10,000 in six months using the discount rate present value PV of $20,000 in one year applying the discount rate. Three, calculate the total present value of the cash flows by summing the present values. Four, subtract the initial cost of $26,000 from the total present value to find the net present value. If the NPV is positive, it indicates that the project is expected to generate returns higher than the cost of capital and may be considered financially viable. On the other hand, a negative NPV suggests that the project may not be profitable enough to cover its cost. If you would like further assistance with calculating the NPV or have any questions, feel free to ask for help. Let's work together to analyze this project in more detail. Yeah, so uh, within a year, let's use 4%. With uh, at least a year, let's use 6%. Let's calculate it. Okay, so I provided a bit more numbers and seems like it provided a solution. Let's see what it says. And then I want to actually do the math for me. To calculate the net present value NPV of the project, considering a 4% discount rate for cash flows within a year and a 6% discount rate for cash flows extending beyond a year, you can follow these steps. One. Calculate the present value PV of $10,000 generated in six months at a 4% discount rate. Two, calculate the present value of $20,000 generated in one year at a 6% discount rate. Three, add the present values of both cash flows to determine the total present value. Four, subtract the initial cost of $26,000 to calculate the net present value of the project. Here's a summary of the calculation steps. PV1 equals $10,000 for 1 plus 0.44 for toward 1 or 2, present value at 4% for 6 months. PV2 equals 20000 for 1 plus 0.061, present value at 6% for 1 year. Total PV equals PV1 plus PV2. Total present value of cash flows. NPV equals total PV, $26,000. Net present value of the project. By calculating the NPV using these discount rates, you can assess the financial attractiveness of the project and whether it is advisable to proceed with the investment based on the projected cash flows and costs. If you need help with performing these calculations or have any further questions, feel free to ask for assistance. Let's work together to analyze the project's financial metrics effectively.
Yeah, I want a Python program to do this. Can you write it for me? Okay, so you wrote some code for me. Let's see if this we can- This Python program calculates the net present value, NPV, of a project with cash flows of $10,000 in six months and $20,000 in one year against initial costs. The MPV is determined based on discount rates, providing insights into the project's financial viability. Yep, execute it. Oh, will you look at that? The Python program has successfully executed and calculated the net present value, NPV, of the project. The results are as follows. Present value for $10,000 generated in six months, $9,611.69. Present value for $20,000 generated in one year, $1,888.67.92. Total present value of cash flows, $2,184.79. Net present value of the project, $2,149.61. The positive NPV indicates that the project is expected to generate a return above the initial investment cost, suggesting its potential profitability. If you have any more questions or require further assistance with this topic or a new task, please feel free to share. Let's go back to the 4%. What's the reason to take the power of one and a half? What if you don't do that? Okay, so we have some answer here. Let's see if we can resolve this discrepancy. Because in my answer, when dealing with cash flows that occur at different intervals within a year, such as the $10,000 generated in six months in your case, adjusting the discount rate is necessary to account for the time disparity between the cash flow and the discount rate. Taking the power of 1.5, or rather using a factor of 1.5. In the discount rate adjustment is due to the fact that the cash flow occurs at a point halfway between two discount periods, six months out of one year. By using 1.5 as the exponent, you are effectively adjusting the annual discount rate to a semi-annual rate for accurate present value calculations. If you choose not to adjust for the timing in the discount rate calculation, it could potentially lead to inaccurate present value calculations, as the discount rate may not match the time frame of the cash flow. This adjustment ensures that the discounting process aligns the cash flow with the appropriate portion of the annual discount rate, providing a more precise valuation of the cash flow. If you have further questions or need clarification on any related concepts, feel free to ask for more details. So uh, there's a typo, not 1.5. What I meant is 0 0.5 on the 4%. What if we don't do that? Uh, because my answer is just 4% divided by 2. Uh, let's see what it says about that. I see. Thank you for the clarification. When adjusting the discount rate for a cash flow that occurs halfway between two compounding periods, such as six months out of one year, you can use a factor of 0 0.5 on the annual discount rate. This adjustment accounts for the time difference between the cash flow and the compounding periods. So instead of using one plus discount rate or two, squid one, two, to calculate the present value of the cash flow, you would use one plus discount rate toward 0 0.5 to adjust the discount rate for the six month cash flow. This adjustment ensures that the discounting process aligns with the timing of the cash flow, providing a more accurate present value calculation. If you have any more questions or need further clarification on this topic or any related concepts, please feel free to ask. No, that's all. End the program.
Thank you for reaching out and working through the problem with me. If you have any more questions in the future or need assistance with anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day. Uh, so there you go, folks. It's a winding path for me to communicate with this bot, but uh, I think there's a couple of things that's interesting. Uh, so let's sum up what's happening here. So I started by just trying to read out the first sentence and give some information. Uh, that's the beginning of this conversation. And then time's up. I got cut off back there. Uh, so I use a second shot to provide a bit more information, 4%, 6%. That's what I provided in the second round, uh, in the second back and forth. And after that, it's able to give me uh, some sort of a template solution. Now, I feel like, hey, maybe we're a good spot. Let's calculate this thing, right? We need a calculator. We need a CPU. Something need to get read, right? So I told it to write the Python code. Uh, so it seems like it wrote something. Let's examine the directory. Okay, so you see that there's a script being run here. Let's click in that. And as you see, this is a script. And it's actually able to lay out the steps. Uh, I think this is in Python, print out a solution, things like that. So with that being said, then I ask AI to basically execute it. They execute it, it's able to get something for us, and that's the result. So I haven't really verified the result while we're doing this live demo. Uh, so that would be something yet to be examined. Uh, but after that, I decided to trick a little bit, right? Because uh, this 4% is just divided by 2. But if you look at the code, they actually um, divided by two, but then take a power of two. Uh, so that's something that I don't really like. And I try to reason with it. But, and I, I made a typo here by saying 1.5, or it's somehow transcribed in a different word with a typo. And that's when things slightly go wrong. So it went on a detour saying, hey, if this is 1.5, then something else will happen. Well, that's actually not what I was going to ask. Uh, so I said, hey, you know, I meant 0 0.5 on the 4%. So then it's able to kind of explain to me where that's come from. And I'm trying to reason that the adjustment is to ensure that the discount process aligns with the timing. So fine, right? That's okay. From there, we'll end the program and be done with it. So there you go, folks. This is kind of like a demo uh, to showcase that this could potentially work. Although uh, certainly you can see a few spots that can be improved. But I fully believe that we are actually heading into that future right now, which is to have a fully voice control AI system to help us to do some sort of math on our behalf. With that being said, I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe and like.